today I'm going to be doing a video on how I clip in my hair extensions and the hair extensions that I have been wearing are the Bella Me hair extensions and they are probably my favorite hair extensions that I have. I do have a couple other brands that I do wear but for the most part I do like wearing my Bella Me hair extensions and I've gotten a lot of questions on how to um, style and how to clip them in so I'm styling my hair extensions in another video so this one is just going to be how I clip in my hair extensions but I've gotten a lot of questions on how to do it because if you guys don't know I am a fashionista for the Bellamy hair extension company so if you haven't seen that page I'll link it below you guys can see like what hair extensions I wear and other things like that so I'll link that for you guys below so if you guys are interested in getting a pair of hair extensions from Bellamy you guys can stick in my coupon code which is Nico Elise I'll have that for you guys somewhere here I don't know but it will be there it's Nico Elise which is N-I-C-O-E-L-I-S-E so if you guys are interested in getting a pair of hair extensions, you guys can get them off for $5, which is really nice and super nice of Bellamy to do for you. I hope you guys enjoy seeing how I clip in my hair extensions. Like I said throughout the video, that um, it's not really an exact way of how you have to style hair extensions. It's honestly just kind of like trial and error, and that's sort of how I learned. I didn't really watch any videos. I just kind of learned how to do it throughout the years of wearing hair extensions. But um, if you guys are like having trouble with it just keep practicing and just try um, working with like how many wefts you should use in your hair because sometimes you don't even need to use the whole set and that's like the beauty with hair extensions is that you can really like pick and choose how much you want to wear in your hair so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and is helpful for you guys that have been asking for it and also check out my video on how I style my hair extensions um, I'm going to be curling them in my next video so go and check that out as well so I hope you guys enjoy so first off I'm just ugh. First off, I'm just going to brush my hair out. All I'm going to do is I'm going to start from where my ears are. You're just going that's going to be your starting point, but you're going to go for the first piece of wet that you're going to put into your hair. You're probably going to start just mid ear. So, tip of your ear, go to the middle of your ear and just with both of your fingers and go straight across the back of your head. And I can't make a perfect straight line, but I try my best. And so I just go like this. And so it's just a little bit of hair right there. And I'm just going to clip um, my hair up. And then I'm going to first start off with a three clip weft because the bottom of your hair right here is small. And so then up here, I'm going to start using my four clips and then go back up to the three. So I'm going to take my three clip weft. And I'm just going to apply this. Um, and I'm just going to feel where like the hair starts to turn up and then the hair goes down. I'm going to try and fit it in that track. So just like that. And you don't really, um, I try not to clip it really into the track, but just grab a couple of hairs just to kind of clip in. So that you have a little bit more support. You don't want to like clip too many pieces that are up because when you put it down your hair is going to fold over it and make kind of like a bump and that's not going to be pretty because you'll be able to see that you have like this bump in your hair. So you're just going to grab like two or three little pieces of hair and just not precisely but just clip them onto the track and you'll probably will snag a few of the hairs that are turned up. So that's the first one. So I'm just going to put my hair all the way down. So I started at the middle. Now we're going to go to the top for the starting, the actual starting point. So then I'm going to go like this and grab the back like that. And I'm going to bring my hair up like this. And then I'm going to clip these in. So then I'm going to grab my four clip weft. And make sure your hair extensions are brushed out before because you don't want them to be tangled when you put them into your hair because then it's just going to get really nappy. So four clip weft and we're going to put that on the track as well. So you want to keep them as in the middle as possible. So you're going to take the first two right here and you're just going to clip those two in first. Never clip. Don't ever start from the outside and go in. 
you definitely want to start from the inside and go out. So that's that. So you can feel that there's the two. So that's just two done. You can see that. It's just that. And then we're going to go on to the next. So we're going to go about like, I'd say like an inch above the tip of our ears. And just go like that and just, you know, go straight across your head. And then I'm going to flip that up. And then I'll show you guys one more time. And this time we're going to go in with a three clip weft. Remember, it's you don't have to go this specific way, but I just this is what I personally suggest because this is the way I do it, and I feel that it works perfectly fine. So we're just going to do it this way. And then we're going to take the three clip and stick that onto the track as well. So that's that, and we're just going to put the hair down. So that's just basically, I don't like to put the entire set in my hair, um, just because sometimes I don't really feel the need to put all that in my head. So technically you would have a couple more pieces left over. I have one more four clips left, left in there, but if you want more volume, you definitely could put more. But, or you just want like more hair, you could put more, but I personally don't really need that much more hair. If you can tell, it's like already pretty long and voluminous. But now I'm going to go onto the sides of my hair. But I'm just going to give my hair a little bit more length here just to blend in um, these pieces of hair so that it blends in better with my actual hair. So what I'm going to do is I like to go from where the highest point of my eyebrow is. So it's going to be this piece right here and we're just going to kind of draw a line up and then break that down so a lot of you guys will probably have an easier way of parting your hair but for me I have these really annoying baby hairs so my parting is really screwed up so we're just going to do that and then I'm going to actually take a two clip left and I'm just going to stick that right here so you go from to the back and then to the front and then just put that down and that'll just kind of automatically blend on its own see how it seems a little bit more blendable and it doesn't it's not as like PC as this one is right here so that's that and then we're gonna do the same thing so I'm gonna start from the highest point of my eyebrow and just kind of follow through and make that track right there. We're going to go in with the two clip wefts and we're going to place some right here. But I really don't feel the need to put any more in. That's the best part about having like a 10 clip weft. You could put as much as you want in if you really wanted like big full hair. You could put the whole set in. Some people need it to really blend in your hair but if you have semi long hair like I already do, you probably don't need to put the whole set into your hair. Um, but you can if you want to. I see I can see right here that this is not really blending that well so I'd probably like straighten it a little bit more but I'm actually gonna go in and stick a one piece clip so it's just kind of like where you feel there's a little bit of like a gap or like it should be blended a little bit better you can just go in with these one clip wefts because these really do make a difference. Some people are like why the heck are these even there but really they do can make a huge difference so if you can see right here, this is where I want to sort of blend it. So I'm just going to take that hair and lift it. And then take a long piece. I'm going to open it. These clips are so sturdy. It's insane. That's good because that means that they're not going to fall out. And just clip that in. But see, the blending is a lot better now that I did that little one piece clip. Oh, it makes a huge difference. So let me see if this one's okay. No, that's fine. I have. Um, you know more on this side than I do on this side but it's okay like it's it's up to you and that's the beauty with clip and hair extensions is that you can really 
mix and match and put as much in or take as much out as you want and just put it to your standards of what you want it to be. So that's the best part about hair extensions. So that's basically how I clip in my hair extensions. It's really not hard, but with practice, if you just keep putting them on, you'll, you'll get better at it. So you don't even have to worry about that. And I'm about to do another video on how to like curl my hair extensions. If you want to see that, you can go ahead and click once I have it uploaded. Uh, the video of how I curl my hair extensions just to blend them a little bit better and how I style them. Sometimes I'll go in with the straightener and straighten them, but for the most part, this is just how I clip them in. So, so I will talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoy. Bye.